Third Fleet unveiled what could be their next unmanned vehicle at Naval Base Point Loma today. New at 5.30, military reporter Hannah Mullins explains how it could join the fight of the future. Every little boy loves playing with airplanes and submarines. And stuff. When other kids were playing with toys, Wayne Liu was making them better and faster. And not all childhood experiments went as planned. <laughs> we won't go into detail. <laughs> But you get the idea. He's always been innovative. When the Navy came along and said, I'll tell you what, I'll let you test out submarines and planes and aircraft carriers, that was like a, an offer too good to be true. Unmanned vehicles can run out of juice after nine hours or 90. Recharging them can be dicey. You haul it out of the water in front of everybody onto a ship. That puts eyes on our underwater eyes. That's where the undersea power and data station, or UPODS, comes in. The UPODS is basically a self-serve gas station for unmanned vehicles. But with energy, it wirelessly charges docked unmanned vehicles. It soaks up the sun and even pumps power into itself. Say it's in the middle of the ocean with no service. Well, it has what's basically a Wi-Fi hotspot so you can still control it and collect data. The reason why it's cost effective for the taxpayers is that the Navy doesn't have to do everything by themselves. Third Fleet worked with Maritime Tactical Systems and Booz Allen Hamilton, which built a 360-degree high-def DVR with infrared capabilities. It can also tow items for capture. And we got it. It does dangerous work so service members don't have to. And it's a project he's proud of. That's pretty exciting. And this is just one of 41 experiments in a program called Trident Warrior, which the Navy will test this summer. Hannah Mullins, 10 News.